months in progress. Um, we're nine months away, so I'll turn it over to Quentin. All right, uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, so Ashley and I have been kind of just chit-chatting over the last, what, two or three months, quarter, just how we want to really roll out um, the reunion this year, kind of more of a hands, all hands on deck approach versus in years past, it was kind of the committee doing a lot of the driving. But again, I think as, as, as we've all grown and evolved as people, it's like, how do we invite some of that back, that homegrown talent to utilize um, our own skills and abilities? Um, so we're super excited of how we want to operate versus our 10 year reunion. Um, I also got an update for my updates is that I received our class roster. The only challenge is all the emails are WSSU emails. So I don't know if that's the most practical way of engaging our class. We do have phone numbers, but again, I don't know how many of those phone numbers have changed. Um, I'm still kind of thinking through what that looks like. If we want to do an email chain, if I want to double model in a group me, um, of what it looks like to get our engagement. Um, we've already set up our mobile app. So each person will have their own mobile given app. We'll still have the drop down menu on the WSSU site, but we thought from an efficiency standpoint um, and, and really try to grow our base in terms of giving was to have each, each person, each alumni have their own individual uh, text message, kind of like the 40 under 40, so that we can kind of funnel the money in those ways. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I'm always excited to see and hear um, the work that you guys are doing in, in the communities and your families. Um, we've also launched the Instagram, kind of highlighting our classmates. Um, I did two in the last few days. Um, so just continue driving people that way. Again, if you have classmates within our class that are doing something exceptional in the community, um, in their jobs, if they're entrepreneurs, anything they got going, they want to be highlighted, uh, please tell them to share their information. Um, again, for me, this year's reunion is all about um, home and just kind of really using that homegrown talent. Uh, and I'll turn it back over to Ashley. Thank you, Quentin. Um, and I, I just want to say, I think that just hopefully um, by the fall that we will be able to really get together and, and do something. I'm just, I'm just really hoping that that's something that we can, we can do. So I know that um, there was a meeting, I'm trying to pull up our action items from last time, but I know there were a few action items that we wanted to um, review from the last time that we were all together um, and just share. So let me find my screen. Um, I know that Alexis, you had a few things that you were gonna do in terms of the um, high potential, high visibility givers, as well as um, I think Alexis, you have one more thing. Oh, the, the survey. So do you wanna give an update on the survey that you were thinking about? Did Alexis leave the meeting? Oh. I'm on the iPad, so I couldn't oh. put something from in. So, um, I, go back. Sorry. yeah, we're gonna need to talk about that because I, I I didn't have that one, but I have talked about the, the giver part. Okay, um, yeah. and trying to get in contact with Hayes and some other people about giving. Okay, no problem. So we had talked about, um, for everybody that wasn't there and just for the recording, um, in our first meeting, really just looking at how do we increase um, giving? How do we look at maybe some high potential or high visibility givers? Um, another thing that Quentin, I know you had talked about was asking the steering committee to make a gift. Do you wanna talk about that while we're talking about fundraising? So what is a high potential giver? So we identify potential classmates that may be celebrities or um, people that we just could think of right out that could potentially be someone that can do a matching gift. Um, those are just people. So we identified some athletes. We identified some people that were celebrities. But we also talked about, we also know that there's classmates who can give based on whatever their financial means are that we may not be aware of, but using those people to kind of kick off the pot um, to kind of start putting something in the, in the fundraiser. So Quentin, do you want to talk about the steering committee gift? Yeah, I will. Um, and then I'll, I'll revert back. Well, Alexis, you can sync up with Tisha because she came up with her and I like right before the holidays. Um, did a okay. survey, got some, um, some feedback. I think it was only like 10 people. But now that we have master donor list, we can figure out how we can utilize that donor list in terms of matching up um, emails from a survey standpoint, really getting the word 
getting the word out of there. But the second piece, um, in terms of the 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 steering committee gift, um, I was thinking if we, I think it was like ten of us, if we all could give a hundred dollars, really to start to start off, if we're not able to get that high potential donor to kind of leverage um, the start off campaign, or if we can use them later on the road to kind of bring us home. Um, depending on where we are from a fundraising, but just really starting off at either at $1,000 or at 500 just to show the commitment um, to our classmates. Um, the goal this year is still $10,000. We were about $7,000 short uh, three, five years ago. Um, and then I think Ashley's done a, a good job over the last few years of really just breaking it down at what that looks like in terms of if 200 people give at this amount, if 300 people give at that amount. But we really want to start off with the committee uh, being committed and say, hey, I'm willing to donate $100 on or whatever you have on behalf of the class of 2007 to kick off our big um, march to 10K. Yeah, and just to follow up, I know the action item, Quentin, you and Thesha were the fundraising platform, which you told us about text to give but when will that be live so that we can start pushing that? Um, it, so it's actually live now. Um, I did want to change the verbiage. Um, so if there's anyone that's like really, um, Georgie, I'm sorry to volunteer you or ask for your help, well, I'll say, uh, you do a really good job of creating just content. I really want to be able to tell a story about um, the day we walked on campus to the day we left. And that's why we're giving. I don't want it to be a generic text mobile campaign in terms of, hey, just give me $10, $20, $30, really cultivate a story uh, around this 10K Thing, but the, the app itself and the, the program itself is ready to go. It's just a matter of us pushing start. But I think we, I, fundamentally, I think we still just need to align right now. How do we get it out to the masses so that they each have their own individual platform? Okay, if we're gonna do the donor giving um, for the steering committee, if we are doing that, uh, when can we go ahead and give that in this, that it, can we do it now or later or whatever? When are you gonna make a decision? We could do that now. Uh, we could say, I think Ashley said, oh, me Ashley talk, we say by our next, our first um, kind of group meeting with the entire class that are willing to join the call. I think that's in February. So maybe mid-February, whatever that date is, right before that date. Yeah, I saw Georgia, you came off mute. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I, I can say that I'm a yes to the um, 1K for the steering committee. Okay. I guess I would challenge us if we could do more, do more. <laughs> um, yeah. If we could do 200, let's all do 200. <laughs> um, but my other thing was, if are we giving out links to everyone, or should we probably team up and create like team school of psychology or school school of social arts and sciences or team business and. Do we want to make it more creative and then we recruit people to be a part of our team instead of having everyone have their own link? Um, I don't know how everyone feels about that. However, I'm gonna have to hop on with somebody else. We only had six people graduate in sport management. <laughs> I think if we go back, remember, remember our first call. <laughs> I think we, our first call, we broke it up, that, that big list of just names that we were just whiteboarding in terms of sub, subsection, meaning subsection, like, hey, Phil, you'll take care of the Greeks. Alexis, you'll take a, I think to like really like what Georgia was saying and really coupling it with kind of leads, fundraising leads for those particular work stream or work items. Um, I do think actually we can really, we can really whiteboard out or design what that looks like when we walk into the work streams. Yeah, I, I love that idea, Georgia, though. I think that's a great idea um, because of what you said, to just like the power of the network and all people that we know. Um, I think the other piece is the Identify the Fundraising Committee. Um, Ladia, I think Quentin talked to you in December. So have you accepted? I'm going to put you on the spot. I think, did you accept to be the fundraiser chair? <laughs> I think you did. I hope you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, classmate. Thank you so much. Thank you for you know service. all about that fundraising life. Right, yeah. Ladia. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. act like yeah. you ain't raised. Right. <laughs> you don't raise eighty thousand dollars for the school. You can you can help us. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> um Jessica Parsons, she actually just texted well, 
um, well, Jessica, yeah, she just texted me and said she's actually doing a walkthrough, so she's not, she's going to try to join, but Jessica offered to chair the panel again for the return to serve career panel, and Disha was going to connect Jessica to the new career services director, and then the, the senior class advisor, um, because she just felt like he was, this new person is engaged, um, also, we just needed suggestions for maybe, and this is where Alexis, I think that survey that you, Disha, and Quinn were talking about, who in our class, like let's identify what um, areas that people work in. You know, we have the sciences, we have athletics, we have social um, social media, we have content. I mean, we have so many different people in our class that are doing amazing things and people who just live in their life and live in the life that they wanted to create. So we really want to be able to highlight that for students and show them kind of the conventional careers, but also let them know just because you graduate with this major, that may not be where you are in 10 years and that's okay too. So um, we're trying to identify who that could be for return to serve, um, the return to serve panel. Um, in terms of social events, um, in terms of the room block, Thesha was working on the room block for the Marriott. There were some, um, they were full. Um, I think she's trying to figure out how we can get a few rooms and maneuver as well as trying to figure out another hotel, maybe two or three other alternative hotels that we could look at. Um, and then Quentin, you and Jessica started talking about what the social calendar events could look like for the weekend. Yeah, I think uh, you, you shared that you sent her some lists of potential places. Um, I've looked at potential places. Um, I was thinking like finding kind of one of the matches in Winston. Um, I, I'm not, I haven't really had a chance to connect with Jessica and what she's looked at in terms of social, but I know that she's working on it a couple with kind of what I've been doing. Um, Excuse me. I've already reached out to some liquor sponsors as well in terms of just what we need to do, um, along with the list that Phil gave me in terms of looking at um, particularly urban or black owned um, spirits. Yeah, and so, I'll say, oh, so I'm sorry, Quinn, go ahead. No, I, I think we'll, we should be good there. And I was going to say, so Jessica and I texted a talk text at uh, the beginning of the year, and really we had talked about, you know, Friday would be kind of that welcome back. We would do a happy hour at whatever host hotel we would do. Thesha and Jessica were going to connect on that. Saturday, Jessica had a great idea for people that don't want to go to the club, but we want to do things as well as involve other classes. Um, you know, if you're familiar with the, the dinner and Blanc uh, event that happens where everybody wears white, you have music, you have dinner. Jessica said, what if we did a dinner in red somewhere? And we invited um, not just our class, but anybody that wanted to go, we would buy tickets. So I've sent her a few places um, in Winston trying to find black owned places or um, people that we could support. So I know Jessica was looking to figure out what that would look like. And then also in terms of social events, we said, you know, there's no need to do another tailgate. We'll just do how we did last time with the armbands and do, um, the tailgate with with Corey and then um, I was supposed to research the package deals. I need to do that because I can't find that email. I can't get into our old email. So Quentin or Alexis, if you have that um, email account and you can send me the login so I can figure out what the what the package deal, what we were selling them for last time. Yeah, I think it's like really, um, don't quote me, but I'll find it. But I think it's WSSU 1892. Okay. I'll try it. Um, and then in terms of the t-shirt options, I was going to go with Mav. That's who we used last time um, for the culture. But if anybody actually knows people in our class that actually have a company, a t-shirt company, we could reach out to them as well. I'm not aware specifically of our class. Like I said, I know Mav and there's a couple other people that are Rams that have companies, but nobody that I know from our class. So if anybody knows, please, please let me know. <laughs> I have a quick comment. Um, I think everyone this this call has like a pretty big, uh, what's the word I want to use? Friendship circle, acquaintance circle, social circle, whatever you want to call it. Um, do you guys have any ideas or just think about how do we leverage outside of this particular group? Because I know for a fact that we have classmates doing like a lot of different things, but it's the challenges. Like I, we can't physically go chase them. Um, because we don't really know what they're doing. But if you have friends that have skill sets that you think would be in addition to what we're trying to do, which is raise money for our school, like please send them our way, nudge them. Um, I know we have t-shirt makers, arts and crafts people. I know we have designers. Um, 
because I've seen it online. It's just like, hey, if you can point them in direction, that would be super helpful for me, please. And then the last thing was just, um, you know, we talked about having, you know, this meeting would be the first meeting that we would have prior to having an all call class meeting. And I'll show that a little bit later, but um, those were the things that we needed to, to get done. Um, I need to send out the meeting series for Thursdays and uh, make sure that that happens. But those are all the action items that I had um, before we move into the breakout. Well, we're not gonna do a breakout today, but to group discussion and I'll pull it up, Quinn. Okay. Um, here we go. So do you wanna explain that part, Quinn? Yeah. Quinn D. Berry, do you wanna explain the, the work groups? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a haircut. Dang. Um. Oh, okay. So, um, so a lot of a lot of what what Ashley and I've been just talking about is how do we make or streamline this to be more agile? We're like fully remote. COVID is still going on. So, how do we make this easy um, for for all of us? You know what I'm saying? So, I've, I've been able to really sit back and think over the last few years about how we want to roll this out. It's usually usually like the same kind of. 10 people. So I'm really trying to focus on how do we again streamline and work this, make this work a lot more agile. So we want to move in like two really work streams that we thought would encompass um, everything we want to do. So in terms of our work streams, our event and logistics, um, that covers like kind of what it says, all of our events, um, how these events operate, who do we need to contact, kind of the supply chain of making those outcomes happen. Um, and that's really us overly communicating and communicating really effective and all the channels that we communicate and then strictly just finance. How do we raise um, the money we're trying to simply raise? And that's like Georgetta throwing in the idea like, hey, instead of thinking it this broad, how do we narrow it down? Like those, that is the kind of mindset and thinking we need so that we can operate kind of really, again, agile and on, on two work stream versus um, really trying to cover a large spectrum virtually. We want it to really align it um, from an efficiency, efficiency standpoint. Um, so any comments, thoughts, um, suggestions, feedback, if that makes sense, or if we need to explain something a little more or better. Now, I don't know how we wanna break out. I, I guess we'll use the, the, the people we've already kind of talked to to go to those individual work, at, I mean, work streams. So if you don't have one, you can kind of pick one and say, hey, I feel like I'm a best fit here. Um, I'm definitely open to the innovation and collaboration piece. All right. Did you want to do breakouts, even though it's six of us, or just do it um, just out loud, like talking about it since it's only a, the six of us? I think we could do it out loud. Okay. So since I know Alexis is here, you were you were helping just on the event and logistics, just thinking about, you know, what would, I also know you had talked about the meetup event, maybe at CIAA or this summer doing something as well to kind of get the class together, get people excited. Um, in terms of event and logistics, you know, what would be your priority? And then also what would you need just knowing, you know, how we were last year and, you know, what you have going on in your life in Jessica's life. And this is not just you, but you know what I'm saying? So I had a couple of thoughts that I, um, I kind of been thinking about and I was thinking about, so I know we talked about CIAA, but I did see they're already gonna have the Sweet Life Party um, there. If it happens, I know it's a lot of up in the air with CIAA. I did want to see if we thought about having any type of collective things that could almost be like fundraising like over the summer. So I'm really good friends with Save Austin who owns the boating company. Um, he's like a brother to me. And I was thinking about, I know they do happy hours, um, on the boat and maybe this summer if we could do one in Lake Norman and then one in, I forgot the other area near Durham, Henderson area, if that would be a possibility and I could talk to him, it also would be based on what the ticket price is and how much kickback we would get. Um, I kind of touched over it with him. He was cool with it. I just said, I need to kind of go over with the group if that was something we would do, but I thought it was something different and it, I mean, if you're on a boat with eight people, you know those eight people. The other eight people can be on another boat. We can kind of separate it that way to make it COVID friendly, but it's something different. And in the summertime, um, mm -hmm. if you don't like to drink, you don't necessarily have to have a drink. You can bring water. You can bring a mocktail, whatever. Um, 
And then I thought about some virtual things we could do. I know with my sorority, we did a uh, bartending class um, and that would be something different. Um, some people made mocktails and she told them how to do that. Just different things. I know that's kind of fundraising, but I thought it was also things, events that we could do to bond together before we actually come together during homecoming. So I didn't want to throw a lot at y'all at one time, but those are kind of what I had. Yeah. <laughs> I like all those. I like the boat idea because it's like, um, and there's a group, I, I don't know if it's by a Winston-Salem State guy, but it's called Lake New, Lake, Lake New York. I don't know if that's what, um, I, I know Savannah and them do it and they went to Winston. So I don't know if that's the same people that you're talking about. So what happened? Of events from people who come to Lake Wally and Lake um, Lake Norman, he posts events that Black people with boats have. Mm. And so it could be something that if we had a flyer or something, Alexis, is that, I mean, Ashley, can you hear me better now? I can now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had to plug on my mic. If we had a flyer or something, we can provide it to them and maybe they can share it. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. I yeah, like yeah. the um the lake the boat idea and anything like out, out like the outside. I wonder if we could connect. Do we know what the you know like them older classes be raising like 30 40,000? <laughs> Do we know what our older class raised? Wasn't it like $40,000 that year? Which are you talking about the basketball uh which particular group are you talking about? No, like a, like they could be like a nineteen. Are you I talking about the, they, like the the thirty year and fifty year people when they yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, and they do fifteen. Like last homecoming last year, twenty one. They it was it was twenty years and thirty years. I think one did raise thirty thousand. The thirty class, I have to confirm with Disha, but I think they did thirty. And like I told Quentin and. This is just me, and, and I, I, I know we all, I have a bias, I have a lens, but I really feel like looking at the list, knowing we got 800 people, I feel like we should raise $15,000 for our 15-year reunion, and knowing that we can get matching gifts, I really just feel like we are in a position, and I know we all have responsibilities, I don't know what people got going on in their life, but if we all, or the majority, even if we got 100 people to give, I really do feel like that. And to your point, so um, what you were saying, Georgetta, like, even if you can't necessarily give, can you come to a boating event? You want to come out and do that? Could you, I, you know, it's a hundred, a hundred some people live in Charlotte that we graduated with right there. So if they just come and give a, a love offering, we can start getting some money. Yeah. And then it, it could almost feed into uh, George's idea too with you know, who wants to sponsor a boat? We could have the athletes have one, oh, the have that. one. You know what I'm saying? You can almost break it out and whoever has the most or raises the most, like you could do all what she said and break it out to all the events. And it would always be a contest amongst everyone. Yeah, I, I really yeah. like that. And one really of the like things when you think about the list, we gotta go back to some old school fundraising, like calling folks. Mm -hmm. like, I remember we used to do that for alumni association and people would get like, they'd be like, oh, I didn't know. And you would, you could raise a good amount on a calling bank. Hello. And I can send out that. We could divide that list up. Um, and I could, I'll, I'll send it to you if you definitely want to divide it up. <laughs> I'll yeah. divide it up. <laughs> we can take it and divide it up. Um, okay. Yes. I'll work on that, divide it up. And then, um, just send it out. I don't know which, again, I don't know which numbers are actually valid. Cause I, again, the university didn't do a really good job of just tracking real-time information. Um, it still seems very, very dated information. Uh, like the names on there and addresses, like I know that these people don't live in these areas anymore. Mm -hmm. I can Hopefully. get my assistant to um, do a Facebook, like a social media search of everybody on there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, because it would be great if we could just copy and paste messages to people because that was the other piece. Right now. Um, that was the other piece of like creating some kind of like Google form or some kind of form. So that way, if we're saying like, hey, classmates, we need your information. Can we have the Google form to do that so that we can just start creating that bank? And then something you said too, Alexis, about having the 
a class, like a virtual thing with our class, like doing something together. I think that would be that would be nice to do something together. Um, yeah, as a fundraiser. Oh, speaking of virtual, what if we did like a live once a month? That yeah. would be good. From the WSSU page. Yeah. That's what's up. Let me, like, I can, girl, we missing yeah. all the good stuff. Every month we do like it, we can bring people on, talk about their best WSSU memories. We could set it at the same time. At the same, yep. Same mm -hmm. day, every second Wednesday or every second Friday. We're going live, WSSU class of 07. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pin a link for the a link for the donations will be in the bio. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and I do like the black businesses for Black History, black History Month. Month. Yeah. Yes. So we didn't go into finance. We in finance now, but I wanted to bring this up to Georgie just to show. Um, this was the the list, but I will put this on a Google Doc this weekend just to start thinking about what you were saying about like the different groupings of people. So we tried to think about majors and organizations and the band and who else? I think that was it. Yep, that's what that's what we tried to do. But would love, 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 love your idea about um, grouping people in in the fundraisers. And then to your point, I'll let, um, Ladia, what if we, for since February is literally like, oh gosh, two weeks away, I guess we should put a post up on our group just asking like, you know, are you a small business owner? Do you have a business? Let us know and we'll do a promo. But we could also ask them if we promo you, could we like get a 10% discount code or something that could give back to the class? Yeah. Yeah. Being that um, the, the data collection that me and Thisha was trying to collect late last year. So I guess Alexis and Dia circle, circle back with Thisha. Um, so it could be one like just concerted effort in terms of the data that we're looking to collect. But it's exactly what you just said, Ash. And then also, Ladia, like I said, you done raised a hundred thousand dollars for the school. So what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, I know you know it was different for forty under forty. We had different things we had to do, but what worked really well, you know. At the end, because I think last year was that the biggest amount last year. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, definitely I would go the same route that we did for the 40 on the 40. Um, separating everybody to have their own fundraiser is a little challenging um, because not everybody has the amount of social media friends or know how to raise money. Um, one of the things that we did a lot was encourage some of the recipients to, if you are Greek, that whatever the year was, you have your whole line um, donate. And that helped them a lot. A lot of them um, don't understand like that old money with mm -hmm. our season rams, you go into them asking for money, um, that helped. And the ones that had businesses where they could write it off as a, uh, um, uh, donation to the university, they did that and it matched. Um, so a lot of them had companies to match theirs as well um, that helped. So well, I would do you have that, the list of matching companies? Because when I ask people, do their companies match? A lot of people don't even know. So do you know just, you know, a few companies that like Bank of America, Wells, you know, that would already match that we can let people know, like, go ask them, this is what you need to do. You can match. Yeah, I know a few that are, um, that's somewhere in my email, probably like a um, um, Google Doc somewhere um, that I can get. And let me put a reminder, let me get a sticky note for you. And yeah, I can do that. And then it was something else around fundraising. Oh, when you said about giving people their own link, I think I, I, I'm now confused because I remember when we did it, we did have like just put our name in the drop down for 40 under 40. Yeah. Quentin, are you saying for our for our class okay. reunion, when they go to the drop down, what does the drop down look like? Would it have my name under it? Or uh, I, it like? I definitely might have quote that 100% wrong. I think it's what you just said. I'm looking at it now. You want to share your screen? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. I just want to know where to get you this money tomorrow. Y'all need you want this money and we need you to get this, get this, get this, <laughs> show it to McQuinn. Hold on, let me make you a host so you can share. Go ahead. Josh, I don't see the... Okay, now let me see. 
And also, I was going to say to me, too, what worked for me for 40 under 40, my dad took it to his job and like him just telling people like what we were doing, 40 under 40, like that just random people, well, not random for me, but people would be like, oh, here's $20, here's $30, you know, for that. And I think also because we are virtual now, I do think people may be more likely if you send them a text, like if I do a group in my group chats, like, hey, y'all, can y'all just donate? I do think that $20, $30 will add up quickly. If you guys are not having a reunion, um, they'll definitely donate to you if they didn't donate to their class. Because I hear like the season ram, I'm always around my season rams. Um, so I get all those ideas from them. And they're like anything for the university. So they give to everybody that has a class just because they want they, they want to meet their their personal quota um for the year. I never knew that. I didn't know that either. So to that point, should we also look at maybe going to some chapter meetings for alumni? So like the DMV, the Durham chapter, the QC Rams, like the bigger chapter, should we ask to be on their agenda? Yeah, I will definitely reach out to Regina because I know Nationals, um, they have their call on the 29th. Um, That's right. So yeah, that would be great. Um, I can't pull up my screen. Okay. But I just sent it to you and I just dropped the link in the chat. Okay. Mobile calls, WSSU. Oh, look at the little, look at the little ram. Oh, can you uh, make me the host again? I'll share my screen. Okay. How do you make the host again? Um, go up to my name and the three little dots, the ellipses, click on that, and then just click make host. I don't have it. Um, okay, go to participants. More spotlight for stop video allow put in waiting room. Oh, if you go go click at participants at the bottom, Quinn, where it says participants, yep. and then on the side you can click on my name where it says participant six. Yep. And then you can just yeah. I, it says stop chat, stop video, spotlight from every oh make host. My fault. That's why I got you, girl. <laughs> hey, can, I, can I make a suggestion about the email? Um, I see, you know, everything's gonna go like to your company um email. Should we or do we have like our class email, a Gmail account? What do you mean? No, I have her. That's just um it should be that. It should be like we can have it go there, but I'm not getting anything to my my email except what I'm like asking from from the school okay okay like nothing financially goes like to to that i don't think no i just didn't want like if that's going to show up i just didn't want people to get confused because i know when with other organizations that i've you know um helped out on um that was a lot of confusion like if oh. you go scroll to the bottom oh i see it. i didn't know that okay yeah well, yeah i guess so yeah they don't the whatever's gonna cost the least least path of resistance that people ain't gonna talk crazy on with it. Can we just do the Gmail then? That way, you know, yeah. sometimes co you know, colored people get funny. So yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and I ain't got time for it. <laughs> but Quinn, I just want to be clear. This is the part you wanted Georgie to do right here. Rewrite this part. Yep. Okay. Can somebody text me that link? I'm sorry. I dropped okay. it in. Uh, in oh, okay. We'll see. Yeah. But let me get well. Let me get that that change from Catherine. Then we can we up, I mean, Catherine retiring in like three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we updating pictures or are we keeping those? No, we up. I asked for picture. We've been asking for pictures. Like nobody sends nothing. They just yeah. They just. I don't know. Gotta ask people directly. Yeah, I'll, 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 so just okay. And we need we need to we need a social media marketing person that just that want to be online all the time. Cause it's not me. <laughs> I, I can say I can. I have. I, I say, have I a virtual assistant that does my social media equipment. So what you see is not. I put the words together. They put the photos together. <laughs> but anything that we need or say, hey, can we have this flyer created? My team can do it. Right. Yes, Georgie. Oh, no. your stuff just feels good. It just feels. Like, I think it just flows really, really well. Thank Look you. at that, Georgie. We praise God for you. So I will. I would just need to know what what we're looking for, and I can tell her to start drafting stuff um, for us. 
Okay, I can give you um, this weekend in the snowstorm. Um, I'm gonna make I'll make a content <laughs> some content calendars. I could do that. I'll do that this weekend. Okay, but, Actually, um, let me know. I'll be in the house too, Ashley. If you need something. Okay, you be in the house. They ain't gonna be in the house. They not in the house. Um, but yeah, I, I love this. And like I said, I, I'll go ahead and make the donation. Um, go ahead and hit that up and make the donation. Look at that. Look at look at that. Look at these pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> Homecoming is definitely my birthday weekend this year. I you post that. Yeah, I am, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't drink anymore, so I'm gonna have a good time still. Oh well, I, I'll you drink. Do a birthday fundraiser. <laughs> yeah, you should for your birthday a fundraiser. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> you said you might. Okay, <laughs> I do right. have one sidebar question. Real, nah, I, might, really, really, I might do that. <laughs> I do have one other sidebar question, only because y'all know I think about sports all the time. Um, if all goes well for for one of the teams, could we possibly do a virtual party if one of the teams make it to the championship? What teams? What team? Basketball. If one of the boys oh. or girls team make it to the championship at the tournament. We probably could do an event in the city. We could, but we need other people who ain't gonna come to Baltimore. Yeah, true that. Give us yeah. some money too. You wanna leave that or design that? Yeah, I can. Who's okay. up here with me? Who's in Baltimore? Who's in DC? Jessica. I'm in <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Parson, Tracy Hearns is yep. there. I talked to her. She said, let her know what we need. She's willing to help. Um, Kavet Buford, isn't she the chapter president, Ladia, for DMV? Uh, no, not the president. Um, she's um, co chair for Young Alumni Council now. That's what she is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, Georgie, I have a client that plays for the Ravens, so I'm up there quite a bit. Oh, okay. No, because I was trying, I've been trying to figure out how they're putting these parties because you know how Baltimore is. I'm like, this is going to be Charlotte. Was, I don't see how Charlotte let that get away from them. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Yes. Um, they I haven't seen a party list yet. That's what I've been trying to find to see if maybe we can get on, get some residual sales or something. Yeah. I'm going to tell you as a person that used to work for the CIAA, a lot of people are going to wait till the last minute because I think they're trying to decide if the CIAA, they said they're going to let fans in and you got to be vaccinated, right? They went to that step. But in case that doesn't happen, I don't think they want to put out anything until they know for sure what's going to happen. So it's probably going to be a lot of last minute, the first week of February, second week of February. Jeez. And where are the games going to be? Royal Farms Arena, and that's mm -hmm. like downtown. So I guess all the there's some black places downtown. Okay. Yeah, and I think Winston's Hotel is the uh, the Marriott right there at Camden. Okay. The Alumni Hotel. Let me see. Speaking that. of speaking of that too, with your clients, did did you what what happened to Super Bowl tickets? Was we gonna get some of those, Alexis? Actually, <laughs> I'm not. I was. So I was gonna go to LA for the Super Bowl, but eh, COVID right now. So I'm gonna settle for All Star probably. Okay, so do you, you think, come to All Star, right? But do you think we remember we had talked about getting tickets and using them as a raffle? If we could raffle them off as a fundraiser, I can ask them. They're being so. Another one of my good friends right now, Super Bowl is up in the air too because it can get pulled any minute because. Because uh, LA, the county is, you know, the governors and the mayors are being strict. So they're actually trying to figure that piece out with limited tickets. Okay. And actually, I think Dallas is the backup place. Oh, you know, Texas will let anything happen, you know. And that is why they're going yeah. there. Yeah, Texas, we like, they like, come on. Um, it reminded me though, when I said raffle, Quinn, you said somebody was going to raffle, give us something to raffle. Who was that? I feel Ooh. Phil Osborne and okay. Joel for their paintings. Okay. Um, you yeah. already asked Joel? Yeah, uh, he came to Phil's um, art show a few months, a month ago. Oh, okay, because I they talked to they, they they would do it. Okay, yeah. I'll remind him. Okay, so um, we're about, we got about 13 minutes. I just want to show you all and get feedback. So we talked about having the all team, like all class meeting on February 4th. Um, I was set it up, huh? Now I was gonna say, if y'all know anybody else who have like big products like that, in terms of art, clothes, that we can kind of 
leverage in terms of raffling off, um, send those over to me and I'll reach out for contact purposes. Or services too. I might raffle some, some stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, because our, um, our classmates need your services, um, <laughs> all of them. And, and I have a question. If When I'm telling Joelle about the picture, is it his liking or is it something WSSU inspired? I didn't ask that to neither one of them. What do y'all think? I just said, would y'all be willing to wrap off a painting? I didn't go into like details. I think it, I, now that you said it, it should be something, I guess, Trapo Winston inspired. Or I'm open. I mean, that like even like the latest piece he created was like super one of my favorites. And so I don't know if it's something of like whatever they create and then yeah. we wrap or. And the yeah. like, retail price is this, and then I like that, George. I mean, because I just would rather have yes, something maybe. I, I know that's what I'm saying. Bring <laughs> energy. Bring oh. it. <laughs> I'd rather have something that was more abstract or something that they created. Because if I want to gift it or I want to put it in my house, rather than a painting of a ram, because I'm not gonna. I put it in my office, but I may not put that in my house. You know. <laughs> I mean, not, I mean, you know. I mean, just more options if I had something that was more abstract. Gotcha. Um, so we talked about having an all class meeting. Let me go to this uh, timeline. We talked about having all call meetings. Um, we had talked about doing them every other month, wanted to see what you all thought, but according to this schedule, it would be February, April, July, and September. Um, just those would just be meetings where we're giving the class updates and Quentin had the idea of setting them up on Eventbrite. That way we also can get people's information. We also get a, you know, a listing of all the people that are going to be there. Um, and so for the first meeting, which would be February the 4th, um, we were thinking of just basically welcome by Quentin. Ladia, you would kind of talk about the fundraiser. Um, Jess could talk about event team, you and Alex Alexis, you and Jess. And then also, I think we had talked about showing a video of somebody, but I don't know who that person was again, Quentin and Alexis. I don't know who that was. Um, oh, you're talking about the welcome video? Yeah. We could do a welcome video. I kind of really wanted it for social media with Quentin and Disha. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll still do that. You still gonna do it? Yeah. Thank you. So we'll have the video and we'll ask people if they have questions. We can also give them the link to go ahead and start giving. What is this slide? I don't know what this one was. Uh, oh, we want them to. Have go ahead. You know you can have people register through Zoom, right? You know that, right? Yeah, we can just do it through a Zoom, through a Zoom webinar. The reason I was just saying to do it through Eventbrite was also to get people, because last year people said they didn't know how to buy the packages, and you know we had the packages on Eventbrite, so trying to help people get used to using Eventbrite if they never used it before. Oh. Um, but yeah, so then we asked people, again, we just got to get this Google form done to join a committee, um, ask people to donate, love your, your idea, Georgie, like, because I saw on that link, you can make teams, ask people to do teams. And then we also talked about doing a contest for the idea for the reunion theme. So we could run it from February to whatever, April, you know, put a theme out and then people can vote. And then the best theme would win a WSSU prize pack or a gift card or something like that. But to get people engaged, maybe on what could the theme of our 15 year reunion look like? And that is the meeting. Um, and then this is the, where's my little fundraiser bubble? Oh yeah, here it is. Um, I do think we could surpass $10,000. I, really, I just believe in us. I just, y'all just doing amazing things. So I just believe we can, we can give. And I think if we start off with done the thousand, I think that's a good way to say, hey, the steering committee is already given a thousand or fifteen hundred or whatever. I think that's a good start off. 